Okay, right away, we had kind of talked about this before. Um, you want to kick to the surface. If you start your stroke too early, see how that water right there? You're going to be dragging that forward. Okay, so you're creating more drag. You need to kick to the surface before you start your first stroke. Okay, we also had talked about reaching a little bit more on your stroke and not quite shoveling, as I had said. Right here, you're, you're pushing the water down, okay, and you're not pulling it behind you. I want to see a little bit more body rotation, so let's look right here. So your hand entry, you want to go fingertips, wrist, then elbow. Then you want to reach forward by rotating, so you get more distance per stroke here. I also want you to look at your head position a little bit. We talked about keeping it in streamline, zero, so in line with your spine. So right here, see how high your head is on that breath? I should only see about half your face. That's causing your legs to drop down and your kick is not as productive. Even when you're just swimming and not taking that breath, let's look. Okay. Your head's a little high out of the water. Okay, we got to get it down so it's in line with your spine. You're almost picking your upper body up. Okay, nice job keeping your head down out of that breakout. Once you get your head down, in streamlined position, your kick is going to be more productive. Like I had mentioned before, you have a nice, steady, strong kick. We need to get it out of the water in your body in streamlined position. Okay? You had a pretty good finish underneath the surface of the water, but that's you need to keep that head down and dive in, into that wall. Do not slow down as you're going into the wall. You want to swim through it. Okay? Nice job. All right, let's check out your entry in the water here. So as soon as your hands enter, you can see right here, got to be in streamlines. See all that drag that you're creating on your entry? Got to be in streamlined position here. Okay, when you're kicking to get to the surface, try to kick from your hips down. All right, we want to see your head down in streamlined position. It's got to be in line with your spine here. It's a little high. That's also creating extra drag that you don't need. Watch your first stroke here. Okay, you're om you're creating drag up this way because you're not to the surface of the water before you start swimming. You got to kick to the surface before you start your initial stroke. Okay, let's look at your head position here. You should be looking down, like I said initially when you dove into the water. Head should be down in streamlined position. Right, you can see a little cross in your kick right here. Got to keep your legs pointed down. Okay, right here you're getting that cross when you're kicking to the side with one leg or the other. And that normally happens right here when you're taking that breath. Okay. Let's look at your arms here. You're swimming a little flat. When you enter your hand into the water you should extend forward okay you want to grab more water so right now I have your entry you're pushing down right away I need you to extend over here to grab more water before bending that elbow and pushing it behind you right now you're pushing it down to the bottom of the pool and almost near the end of the stroke you're getting a little bit more catch to push it past your hips so we need you to reach a little bit more forward Okay, you can see here, because your head's a little high, your legs are low. We'll work on that body position first. Alright, nice job. Let's look at your above water video.